Hello there, this is Bick Benedict. We're playing Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier on Hardcore Difficulty, which is the PC exclusive difficulty for the aforementioned title. And we're on Chapter 6, Firefly... Uh, what was that? Firefly Rain? I hope I got that right. Or uh, Firefly Embers? I'm not sure. It was right on the screen, but, you know, I had to do my whole spiel about what this guy was. So, at first, you saw those two guys. You, you just need to take them out. And then this convoy over here to the right will come as well as, as well as excuse me, a whole host of foot soldiers. So everybody will go um, the, the direction that we came, namely back towards the screen and you don't have to deal with them. All you have to deal with after those first two enemies is a group of four enemies. So as you can see on the right side of the screen no alert is allowed that's going to be how it is in a lot of these situations so if if you at all get detected it'll enter the, the fail state and start you over so in the distance there are even though you might not be able to see them I know where they are this guy I've actually to expedite this guide I've been looking at my own guide and I know that sounds kind of kind of low I guess you'd say but I put in the time and I did it and I solved these puzzles and a lot of them were unsolved I mean a lot of them I just went guns blazing so um, mostly it's just a way to uh, familiarize myself with the chapter so I'll just consult my guide and um, same goes for the no alert up here although you do have a checkpoint so make sure before you tag this guy here tag and bag him, make sure that plane flies beyond where um, he's standing, otherwise it'll it'll um, detect you. And then over here there's a trio of fuckers to shoot right in the back. So, I I don't remember like airplanes flying over and, and them seeing enemies. Um, maybe it's ex exclusive to this mode, I'm not sure take out him and let me see who's left here this guy here so we're going low to high remember Lo highest tier down to the lowest tier which is this tier over here and I believe there's only two enemies here one guy sitting on that um, that piece of machinery down there and then this guy here then you'll get another checkpoint So with those two enemies cleared, we'll make our way over here. I've wanted to do this guide for ever ever since I learned that there was a hardcore difficulty. I wanted to do it. I mean, that's the sole reason why I bought this PC version. Okay, so I was rewatching my own guide earlier today, and I I heard myself say that you have to do. Um, you have to self-destruct with the sonic pulse. You have to do this first. And just to double check my facts to make sure I had the facts right, I did the opposite of what I said. I said you had to do this one first on the right side. And it's true. For some reason, you can't do the left one first and then the right one. So, a bit of an anomaly. So, when you're controlling this uh, crawler drone, um, there's no accelerate button. The left and right triggers serve as uh, turn, turning uh, for to turn the wheels, the wheels of justice, and then um, just back and forward on the analog stick moves the device. Okay, this part, these are some pretty fun sections, but I'm not I'm not saying that we're going to have some extremely hard sections. I know, I anticipate rather, that we're going to have some frustrating experiences. I mean, the less you can move around in camouflage mode, the more I fear that perhaps the developers haven't fully playtested every single scenario they just you know put the variables in here I hope that's not the case because I don't want to be struggling on a part for you know forever but 
I remember there was one. Well, let me talk about this. If you, okay, you see the guy next to number two. He's going to go to the left. So the guy that Pepper's on is um, going to walk over to the right, and then we'll isolate the two on the right, and then we'll take out the four on the left. So that's how that works. But I remember there's I remember a couple of parts as standout parts in this game for difficulty. The the last chapter obviously the standout part is the the chase sequence and it's not anything about stealth. But there are were a couple of stealth sections that I recall. One of them was in like a field, and you had you had a um, airplanes hovering overhead, and you you couldn't really walk. So I mean you could you could walk I mean with the ghost the ghosting you know but with this we have no ability we have no mobility while being in the ghost mode so that's a pretty that's a pretty simple situation and then this one here um, we're coming up on two fairly fairly challenging sections. I mean, this first one is more particular than it is difficult. So, I'm going to throw up the drone, and do you see the guy on the the plane up there? You, if you shoot him from up there, like, it's, it's all about proximity, even though there would be... it just doesn't seem likely that the, the guy is beneath him. I mean, in real life, sure, but it, for this game, it doesn't seem likely that they would be um, you know, glancing up where he's at, it doesn't seem in keeping with what this game is about, but it really is true. If, if I shot him now, I would get... I guess his falling body would alert the guys down there. And you also can use the sounds of the over of the flying planes above to mask things, but I haven't had to use that. So when he crosses the, the the beam about halfway that's when you want to shoot him because the guy to the very left who's off the screen now if you wait any longer to the point where they're they're at about the same location even though they're on two levels see that guy to the very left then same deal they'll hear the falling body so this was this was a little bit of experimental I think I'm just trying to isolate everybody on this side, kind of praying that the guys on the other side don't hear. And it's effective because, look, their backs are turned, so that's just another reason why they should be um, prohibited from hearing me when I do stuff. So that section's clear, and then this was a problem area for me the first time. I played this game over here, and it, it still is kind of tricky, to be honest. But I, I just remember this part was the first part in the game, the first stealth part that, that really made me mad. So, this guy here, take him down. And watch the beauty, look at the beauty of this game. Just check this out. Look, the bullets go right through. They go through one and hits the other, If you if you don't know what happened two bodies were lined up right in front of each other. I shot one guy, and the guy behind him got killed because he was lined up. Like, that is just... I don't even have the words to describe how fucking wonderful that is. Except, you know, make some more games like this, these developers. Stop making fucking trash. It just pisses me off, but okay. So... Those two guys up there need to be dispensed with because they have the whole field division down here. And now there's one, two, three, four, four, six, but I think there's also another guy. So there could be as many as seven here. So what I'm waiting for is for this guy, number two, to walk over to the left as far as he can so that he's out of the seeing range. All right, by now I'm going to dispense with these guys, take care of them. And then sometimes there's a hider in between here, so you got to watch out for him. So there could be as many as five. Sometimes you miss one. You know, you think you have them all. But let's see what we have here. That's who I'm looking for, actually. But there is no hider. He's probably number one, actually, right now. So this is the next thing you'll need to do. This guy's looking in their direction, so there's, there's really no way we can get away with that unless he turns around. 
I'm not sure what is. Okay, he turns around, so that's beautiful. What we can do that? Oh, he but he turned around again, didn't he? So some of these tricks that I'm going to tell you, and some of these these ways to shoot people, it might say fail for you, but that's just because you're not doing it at the precise time that I did it in the video. And it's not that I'm right and you're wrong. It's just that this particular run worked for me, and and perhaps you got spotted. So I recall the drone right here, and I'm going to take this guy out. So there's four people left to kill. But you don't get a checkpoint yet. Okay. So looking in the distance, you don't want to sh you don't want to involve any of the people in the hangar. Just take care of these people. And it should give you the clear indicator for now. It's still clear, but if you don't see the floppy drive icon in the bottom left, you know that there's no save point. So, next point is a contact point up here. In my in my other video for my guide for this chapter, I had I had these en these enemies like playing um, ha hacky sack or something in the bay, and they weren't doing it this time. So I'm not sure what happens. Maybe I just got unlucky over here. I'm not sure what happened. It was really bizarre, but this time it it made me earn my victory a little bit more over here. So a couple of people have... Okay, we've got a guy moving over to the left, some people moving to the right. It's all about isolating people and seeing what their path is, which way they're facing, how far they are from the others. Sometimes you just have to kind of go with your gut, make a gut decision. So I'm looking at this guy and I'm thinking to myself, where do I need where do I need to have this guy? Definitely not to the left unless other people's backs are turned. So I'm, I might even be able to get away with it, but you see, I'm, I'm just trying to, to consider what's going on here. We've got a t we've got several guys on the other side of the plane, and do I want to involve that guy to the left? I I don't think I quite want to, so we just need to take this guy down. And unfortunately, you have to end up praying, just because the the game is just a little arbitrary sometimes. It it nothing's perfect, but it. You can trust the system in this game not to screw you over too much, which is really great. So these two these two guys, mark them, mark this guy. And then this guy down here, number four, you need to mark him for death. Because the guy that's standing on the plane is out of my range. So I'll recall the drone here and take him down. Okay, so if you're marked for death by me, you're dead. There's no two ways about it. So, no checkpoint yet, but we will secure one presently. Make a run for make a run for this area over here. We're going to be regrouping below. All my teammates are already below. You'll see an edit here because I couldn't figure out where to go. <laughs> There is a um, supply box over there to the left, down here. I'm speeding all these up here because they just they're superfluous and they take too long. So we're going to be sprinting around here, and we're going to use the the drone as well as um, the crawler. To do this part, so land the thing over here, right about where the junction box is. Use the sonic pulse, and if you've done it right, it'll say it'll have a little beep, and it's the access clear. Crouch, and then we'll make our way over here, where we'll have some more loading times. Gotta love those loading times. But it's not so bad on these PC games, and some people might think that you know I've, I've I've started a trend with doing, you know, PC games. It's not that. It's I want the best possible experience, and uh, you know, 
and you know with this difficulty mode too it's it's only on the PC but I enjoyed the PC and the consoles but I won't suffer long load times when when there's a computer counterpart that's shorter load times and it's I don't know the 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 computer like the evil within it was a lot more flexible and they finally made a patch so that I could have my my widescreen and not the letter boxing off if you don't know the difference there are they are two separate things letter boxing is too extreme but in here to be honest you guys I think you probably could stealth this that's what I was thinking I was I was wool gathering a little bit which is probably the the gayest word I've ever heard, but it, it's a word from a Stephen King book. I think the, the Tommy Knockers, the guy says it a couple times, James Gardner. It's a really fantastic book, but nothing rivals The Stand, man. The Stand is my Bible. So, what I did was I tried to kill as many people as I could. What I did was I quick fired on a couple people to the right, and then I ordered a, a sink shot from the left so I t took about five maybe six people down and then once you clear this area here you'll get yourself a checkpoint and then we've got an interesting enemy coming up for the first time in this game we'll have a, a shield enemy which is nice because so far we've just have we've just had enemies you know not without I mean they don't even have much body armor. The, the shield enemies don't either. I, I appreciate this game. It's always annoying in Gears of War games when the enemies just have way too much HP. Like I think, I think in this game, it's pretty good for what, especially considering the fact that you can't change the sensitivity and uh, one of uh, a follower of the guide was asking are there mouse sensitivity settings yes there are mouse sensitivity settings and he asked um, the conversation is on channel um, I mean on, on video number one but he was asking will changing the mouse sensitivity settings affect the controller sensitivity settings the answer is no that's what I was kind of fruitlessly trying to to make happen as well, but it, it doesn't affect it. And I'm not a, I'm not like Total Biscuit. I'm not a, a person that goes on the computer and does shooting games with a mouse. So I, I, I yes, I play PC games, but I only ever use a controller. And the only reason I'm bringing Total Biscuit up is because, um, you know, I, I've been watching a few of his videos. He doesn't annoy me too much, but. He seems to have kind of an arrogance to him and a, obviously a cynicism it kind of rubs me the wrong way. But yes, I use a controller for, for everything. I use a paddle as they're, as we called them at, when we were kids, fucking paddles. I use a paddle. I don't use a mouse and a keyboard. I'm not one of those, I'm just not that type of a, of a, of a PC person. And you might say, "Well, try to learn it, and then you wouldn't have a problem like this." I don't, I don't want to learn it, and there's no software for this. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller, and I have to apologize if in past videos I've, I've disparaged the, the 360 controller. It is a fantastic. It is my favorite controller now. I have the rumble motors removed, and it's a little bit lighter and I use it for Ninja Gaiden 2 and, and everything, all my PC games. So actually you can spawn kill this guy. See, he's a fucking robot. Take him down. But I think the... Uh, I, because I hate the PS4 controller. The, the, the option and share buttons are way too narrow. It's got the fucking flashlight at the end of it. Take it off. Nobody needs that shit. It's so obtrusive. Um, and it's got that, you don't need to take the touchpad off, make the option, you don't need a share button, just put start and select, god damn it, and make the buttons wider, and take the light off, it's not that hard, not that hard, I, and to be honest, I've never held an Xbox One controller, but from what I've heard, they fucked that up too.
and I'll never buy an Xbox One unless there ever is a slim version produced of that particular piece of dog shit. Because I don't want something that huge. There's no reason it has to be that fucking huge. So, I, I think there will be, there will be a slim version before Gears of War 4 comes out. So, I'm really looking forward to Gears 4, Uncharted 4, God of War 4. See, all these 4s, they're going to happen. You may not you know want them to happen, but they're happening. So we're in this sequence. I did not die here, so that should give you some some hope that you could probably do this without dying too. Because I'm not the best at doing these on the spur of the moment, especially with with zero practice. But I do think I died when I played it on Elite a year ago. So, but anyway, yeah. I, I also want to see Max Payne for and. So um, yeah, I don't I don't have an Xbox One. I I have no problems with Microsoft. Like I, I just I've been pra I just praised its controller, its 360 controller. And if you're wondering, I have I have the standard controller, and you might be wondering how I'm using that with my PC. All you have to do is buy a USB. Um, it's it's a USB cable with a sensor on it. And you just sync the two things up. It's like twenty dollars for the sensor. It's it has a long cord on it. You can just wrap it up, and it has a little sensor at the end, like a, a little box with a sensor a button on. You just sync the two together, and it works flawlessly. Oh, I also want Ninja Gaiden four too, but I don't want it to be a piece of fucking dog shit. But what do you think it will be? I don't want it to be. Obviously, I just said that, but... Anyway, over here, I think there's a sniper up on the catwalk up there. But I hadn't been here in a year. I, have, I had no idea where I was going, so you'll just have to pardon me. But... The chapter is still going to continue. This is about the halfway point, I would say. So all of these games are games that I want. And I want them delivered on a silver platter, too. I'm tired of, of of it all just taking so long. Just hurry up and make the game. It's not that hard. You guys made Uncharted 2 and 3 within two years of each other. Why, why do we have to wait five years between 3 and 4? Or four years? Pro probably four years. Maybe five. I, I'm, I'm saying five, which is really, really sad and sickening. Okay, so enough ranting. I'm sorry about that. The... Then the last sequence of this level, I, sh I should have prepared you guys for it a little bit more. But what you, the best thing to do, make sure you just have your loadout, right? I always say it, but just have whatever loadout you want for this section. I had a sniper rifle as well as my, I think it's a PMC gun or something. And all I had, um, it, it is more advantageous to come to this last section with frag grenades. It's, it's really fucking difficult. So the first thing they're going to have you do is to, to um, fend off the hostiles over here. So what I like to do is take the sniper rifle, and what they do is they come from the left and then run into the cargo container. Um, you see me kind of wildly shooting at these guys sometimes. It's just because I'm trying to... Sometimes you can't tell if they're standing outside the cargo, ca cargo container or in it. Um, if they're outside, you can obviously hit them. Sometimes you can just hit them right to the cargo container. There's not really much consistency. Um, let's, so let's just see if that happens. But anyway, this I stood here last time I did this guide, and I'm standing here now. And it's a pretty good spot. I only had one occurrence where I got rushed. Um, I also can confirm that even if all three of your teammates fall in combat, you do you do not fail unless you yourself then get killed. So I rather like that. I, I really like that. So you, you can't use the, I mean, what can you use here? You can use the incendiary grenades or you can use the sensor grenades. Sensor grenades are helpful. The frag grenades would be a godsend here. So before you start this level, make sure you, you have, I would say, the sensors and the, the, um, the frag grenades because you can kill whole clusters of enemies. But what then happens is they get on these turrets up here that I've I've never tried to get on 
and I when I go up look at all these guys when I go up there to find the yeah see you shoot right through the cargo container when I go up there to find it I've never been able to find it I've always tried to just take care of the battle and here I'm shooting wildly through the cars trying to shoot him and I think I end up hitting the cars see that when the car starts smoking they'll blow up and they'll kill enemies but they can also kill you too so that's why I don't like standing behind cars so at, a, at about the time they say we could really use some help about now that's about the halfway point you get a checkpoint here's the hostile transport you need to quickly get on this take care of any enemies that you see jumping out although my vantage point here was very poor but um, swapping shoulders is R, click in the R3 button so it's pretty helpful although from this vantage point we don't need to do that but you can do the third person cover trick to very slowly angle around the pieces of cover so that you're not sticking out too much and you're not hittable but you can hit the other enemies what else to say yeah your teammates are gonna likely fall down in combat just it, it is annoying to keep hearing them call for help but at this point, like I, I like I said, I've only been rushed like once, maybe twice over here. So they don't tend to rush you. They, you've got to kind of find out where they are. Um, they're usually by the turrets. So here I am, just trying to look for people. And you do get a they they do give you a checkpoint when the tank shows up, which is a nice consideration. You know. I almost thought they wouldn't give it to you. So I am being very careful here. I don't know what's going on. The second on a difficulty like this, the second you get hit, don't try to to shoot anymore. I mean, it seems kind of obvious, but you you just cannot take very many rounds, especially from a turret. You've got, you know, and I'm guilty of it a lot too. I just I think I could, you know, muscle my way through it, but you can't sadly so this guy taken care of and then I think it has an X there which I mean okay I'm out of bullets duh. Um, so I came over here thinking that the all the enemies were killed I healed this guy thinking that thinking that perhaps I could fail if my teammates were not alive but they still don't give you a checkpoint yet and I had to do some blind firing over here quick thinking on my feet could have cost me the whole fight this took me about 15 tries. It's really, it's damn difficult, and I knew it going in, but I just I forgot that it was on this chapter here. So I'm gonna run over here, pray that I don't get hit. I mean, I should have got hit by something here, but I got a small mercy somehow. And now we finally get a checkpoint, but I got ambushed over here by somebody, and I'm leaving in these for points of reference for people, but we will be able to command an airstrike in a second and I, I just don't know how I survived this I would have had that checkpoint to fall back on so I didn't care but I was kind of just staggered that I was able to survive even this so what's hitting me is the mortar rounds not literally or you know they're not literally hitting the character but they're hitting in my vicinity so much that they're knocking me over so I, at this point command the airstrike target the orange triangle and that is the end of the chapter i will see you guys in mission seven